Hi, my name is Regina and I'm the COO of Mashari Method. Today I'm here to talk to you about the energy audit. So the energy audit was a concept that we first learned about from Diana Chapman at the Conscious Leadership Group, and we're big proponents of it and big believers here at Mashari Method as well. The purpose of the energy audit is to take a look at your calendar and take a look at the things that give you energy and the things that drain your energy. It's pretty binary that way. If anything is sort of on the fence or in between, then it's usually energy training because you don't actively get energy from it. And so hopefully with this tool, you'll be able to do a full audit of the last two weeks of your calendar and see where you fall in line with whether things are energy giving or things are energy draining. Ideally, you'll want to spend about 75 to 80% of your time in the green zone, what we call energy giving things. And then for everything else that is energy draining, what we refer to as the red zone, you'll have three choices on what you can do with those tools. You can either outsource those actions or events, you can eliminate them from your schedule, or you can make it exquisite if it's something that you actually have to do. And the idea with deciding whether you want to outsource, eliminate, or make something exquisite exquisite is that you'll eventually clear out your calendar from draining activities and you'll be able to invest that time into things that are actually really core to who you are and how you perform best. We call that your zone of genius. And I think the more time we can spend in our zones of genius, the better we do and the better we feel and the happier we are and the more fulfilled we are. There is a common misconception that if you're outsourcing your red activities to other people, that you're just giving and offloading all of your things to them. Uh, and, and as a result, you're creating more trouble for them. But in reality, all of us are human and humans are uniquely different. So the things that drain you and your energy are actually gonna probably be energizing for someone else. For example, if you really hate doing financial models, there's probably someone in your team, likely in the finance department, that loves doing financial models. That's just one example of many different departments that you as a manager or a CEO own. So with this being said, I hope that you enjoy using this energy audit tool and that you energize yourself and your schedule for all the weeks to come.